I am on set today for Lullaby. It's a hairline brand by Jennifer Aniston. I'm in New York. I moved here. And the reason I'm on this job is because someone found me on YouTube. My goodness, my YouTube got me a job. My YouTube where I post one video a year. <laughs> wow. I'm in awe. I'm in utter awe. I am so tired. I have been moving to this place and I'm not done. But yesterday, the whole week, um, so I'm so tired and I was working yesterday. with them once in New York uh, in their showroom oh I bought that by the way which is by Sam Adelman isn't it so beautiful isn't it so pretty I bought it because I wanted to honor them because I was so grateful for them to book me because they booked me in advance for different dates all throughout summer wow most of my experiences in America are pretty new so it's my first time in Miami I'm pretty excited and honestly this client is treating me really really well and I'm so honored, which is why I bought the shoes again. And there's another one that's gonna come next year, which I absolutely want because I'm doing the showroom, so I see what's gonna come later. I have so many soaps at home <laughs> from Hook Dills. <laughs> oh, well. Hi, um, I cannot find the sleepers in the room. Do you have any? Mega Mind. That's the only thing, but I believe I have strength. I believe I have strength. I will run and not be tired, and walk and not be faint. I'm sore like an eagle, and I get through this day wonderfully. I'm just gonna go to bed. Here he is. That's it. See you tomorrow. Hear that? See you tomorrow. I slept at 8 p.m. yesterday. And I could sleep more now. I slept nearly 12 hours, but I was so behind in my sleep schedule. And knowing you. Mine, as if in a dream divine Ooh, but I'm thrilled I'm thrilled So yesterday was really nice Surprisingly, I actually had energy in it and I was pumped up until it was, say, 20 past 5 
and that's when I started to feel disconnecting. You know, this type of shows to me is so interesting. It's also what happened when I was in New York for my first time in this job. And I really, really, really enjoy it because usually when I'm modeling, I am part of the creative process to create the image. I don't know anything about the product other than what I see. I don't know how they thought to do it. I don't know why it is there. But during that show, especially in New York, Sam was there telling how he went to Europe and so this and this and this. Whenever he's out, whenever he's going on and about, he's just looking at people's feet <laughs> because this is his company. And it reminds me, when I was in architecture school, I only did one year of studying architecture. But in that one year, whenever I would enter a room, look at a building, I would see all the lines, all the structure, all the ideas, the curves, blah, blah. Like my mind was wired differently that it was the first thing I would notice in a space. It was so interesting to see this from his point of view that the first thing he's, no he's noticing are shoes, shoes everywhere in his mind. I'd also love to be a fit model, at least just for a little while. You get to learn the same kind of things, but then the designer might fit the clothes onto you, change his ideas, has this going, and you're part of the process. Not so much as your opinions, but you're witnessing it. And I find it so interesting. I, I feel like I'm part of a, of a team. I don't feel like I'm just here for the day and coming back at home with my money. I'm actually doing something. I'm learning some things. So I find this experience is very valuable and I really like this job. I really do. Look in my eyes and smile and ooh. Yesterday, I was walking, looking defeated with tiredness. <laughs> so he is he walking and he's like, Hi, how are you? I want to say I was so tired, my brain was malfunctioning. What did he say? Oh, I just saw people naked. Are we? Because I wonder, do they see me like that too? Because I had a theory that people can't see you, but I think the bigger the window, obviously the, the more light is getting in, so the more likely people are to see you. So then the guy, after he asked me how I am, he's, he's I don't know, he's being very cocky. And I really didn't like the, his approach, like, I don't mind the questions, I don't mind people approaching me, I don't care. But he's like, hi, how are you? What are you doing? Or do you want a coffee? Like, it's so impolite. Like, no manners. A better approach would have been, oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> I, I find you attractive or something, like something to break the eyes. And, and then like, you start a conversation, not just like, hi, how are you? Like, what the fuck is this? I didn't even have energy to focus on this and to be annoyed by this, but I just thought I would tell you the story because it shocks me. Like, I, I don't think anyone has ever done this in Europe. They can be bold, but they will not be cocky. They will at least say sorry. Manners, basic manners. Oh, my makeup, I gotta bring it. Also, I gotta go. <laughs> it's by the beach I can't I would have gone to the beach but I'm by myself and I don't want to leave my stuff unattended living in a real nice house where nobody knows you whip and run a real nice car with nowhere to go so I'm thinking you got real I don't film on YouTube a lot because it requires
requires you to sacrifice your own enjoyment so that you can picture and capture everything. I'd rather prioritize me in the present rather than me in the future who will watch back these videos. In the same time with this video, I'm also filming my moving videos, so there's a lot I'm thinking about. Of the day. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. I think the dairy I had yesterday is showing on my forehead. I'm not sure if it works, but the science says that it might. When I bought it, I was just desperate and it was expensive. So I shall keep using it. Oof. Yummy. Coisa mais linda, mais cheia de graça Bela menina que vem, que passa Um doce balanço, caminho do mar Moça do corpo dourado, do sol de Ipanema O seu balançado é mais que um poema É a coisa mais linda que eu já vi passar Que estou tão sozinho Ah, porque tudo é tão triste Ah, beleza que existe A beleza que não é só minha Que também passa sozinha se ela soubesse que quando ela passa O mundo sorrindo se enche de graça E fica mais lindo Hi, por I'm causa Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm Guyana But I live in Miami and New York and Guyana So I just saw that you're giving cards to some friends Yes So tell me about it So we're at Swim Week It's mm -hmm. one of the biggest swim fests that happens in the world yeah. in Miami And I just saw it as a great opportunity and town so Sam Eagleman is one of like my my first shoe brands that I'm crazy about it's really okay. comfortable I yeah, love that so I didn't know that they did swim it's and their second year doing swim oh so, okay yeah. so it's new it's new I'm about to work with them and yeah what are you working with right now here yeah. I'm working at a booth with a company that's been around for about 10 years. Every day Sunday, I'll okay. be with CGM, so they booked us to model and show yeah, the kids that they Okay, have. amazing, thank you so much. No problem. I'm interested in not being the subject as well, because I like to hear everybody's experience. And I think everybody has such a nice story to tell and amazing things to bring to the table as well, like these girls. It also reminds me when I saw it in Paris. It was in October 2017 or 16. So at the time, I went to about 17 agencies in Paris. I didn't take any appointment and I just went there with my images that I had uh, gathered throughout time. Hello, I would like to become a model. Um, do you want to take pictures of me? Do you want to sign me? All of them said no, <laughs> and only one of them actually refused to see me because I didn't have an appointment. But most of them were either receiving me right then and there, or telling me uh, this is our open open house, open call. I forgot how it's called, you know, when you can just go on a date and on an hour in particular. And it was very bold and it was because someone else did it as well and she made a YouTube video about it and I was like, I want to do it too because I want to be a model. Although this didn't work, I basically did the same online three other times in Paris, which didn't work. And that's when I decided I'm going to apply abroad and that's where it works, in London and in Barcelona. So 
I love and I really admire their initiative right here and their boldness. This has not made my day, but really inspired me. It is 10 to 4 and I am done. I am done and I have two hours or so to walk around and visit. And this time, because I have not the pressure of work, I don't know, I feel adventurous. I'm going to have terrible tan lines and I haven't brought my sunscreen. made the wrong order on here which has almond milk and I'm trying to avoid nuts for my skin so I just took it trying my luck to find someone who's not gonna find me suspicious for giving them this for free there were people just sitting at the bus station I was like hey. I told them the story but when I'm speaking to people and I haven't prepared it I'm stuttering like hell it's terrible I hate it I was like, I want to see this shop and I wanted a smoothie and it has this and this and like all my story is upside down but I'm so happy the, the two people accepted it I honestly despise waste and it didn't happen I am feeling very satisfied right now and I'm relieved because yesterday I was thinking I don't like Miami <laughs> because I was probably where it's super touristy, lots of people I had a feeling of people being so braggy. There was like this strange feeling that I was like people are just show-offs. But now that it's not the week anymore, there are less people outside. Where people are really nice, and even at the shop where I bought it, the guy was really nice. Look at my feet. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the right one. Sorry? This is the right one. Is it? Is it? Yes.